Hey everyone, so gonna make a quick video here on WordPress, which is showing us kind of a way of like granting someone access um, to a platform or something along those lines with information from a webhook. So let's say that this is being connected to some other apps action um, that is related to forms being filled out like Gravity Forms, Ninja Forms, things like that. What we wanna do is we wanna come here, click users, um, click add new, and then we want to invite that user um, to our platform. So what I'm going to do is, is we're going to set up our webhook trigger, and this is going to take in some data from our apps action, and that is either going to be, for now it's going to be a task magic action, but that could be whatever platform you're using, um, whether that's like Google Forms, like I said, things like that. So right here I have my task magic action, and all I did was set up my webhook URL, um, which we can get from manage webhook trigger, trigger settings, and right here. Uh, this is going to be pasted in this input. And then all we need to do is add whatever data we want um, to this field or to the body here so that we can use those as variables in our automation. So what we can do here is we can send a test event. And this can be, once we, once we get uh, the success on our side here, this can be used as our data um, on the task magic side. So we'll see, there's a bunch of nonsense here, but we'll see that success was true. All we need to see is that the check mark here is good to go, and we can click check for new events. This is gonna show the data coming from the app side or whatever trigger you have, um, and then that data being passed on and that can be used in our automation. So let's start recording on top of this and add the rest of the steps to grant someone access to a platform, in this case, my WordPress site. First step is gonna be recording a click step and that is gonna be clicking this users section and then we can go ahead and play that step. Then let's record clicking add new user right here, confirm. And then we can play that and then we can record a click step. Oh, let's go back. Um, oops, sorry, a type step. We need to enter the uh, username and the email. So username, confirm, and then this can get replaced with the username we got from the webhook. And this can be the email here. So I'll just type email, for example, confirm this. Um, and then we're going to replace this. Then I think that's all we need for required fields. We can then uh, click add new user. So what this is going to do is this will, only, as soon as this is triggered, it'll open up the local host website or my local host website, which this would be your URL um, in your situation. Click users, click add new type the username from the webhook, type the email from the webhook, and then click the create user button. So what we can do is, if I turn this on from desktop or from cloud, um, depending on the add-ons that you have, we'll see that when I trigger this, um, I'm gonna make sure that this runs with a browser so we can see it running. This is going to go ahead and add that user to our WordPress site. So this can be um, this could be triggered from, let's say we have anything form related, um, Kazeo, I think we have Google Forms too. There should be form up, the other form ones. If we don't have Google Forms, that needs to be added. I'll make sure that's added. Anyways, whatever form platform it is, usually we'll let you send it to a webhook also. That webhook can be directly what you get inside Task Magic, or it can be sent to apps first, whatever you want to do. But we'll see once we get here, we're typing in the username, typing in the email, and then adding that user to the platform.